So it's a beautiful cold winter's morning, about seven degrees, and I thought it's a good opportunity to show you guys my new generator motor setup. So this is an alternator generator based on a Kubota D662. Little 662cc diesel. And on here we have two 145 amp alternators. I think they're a 22 SI Delco. Possibly. Anyway, they they are a kind of a universal frame remanufactured by some other company. They've got the internal regulator bypassed, so both of them have the terminals from the field windings, so the rotor going straight out of the case there. I have a V belt set up here, so it's a multi V, 6PK, 6 row, 1150, one, so 100, so 1 meter, 150 centimeters long. Down here is a tensioner from a Voxel Astra diesel, I believe. And this mess of wires is my new governing the system here, so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So here we have the throttle body, sorry, the stepper motor throttle control. So that operates the throttle. There's a homing switch there, so when the system starts up, it homes itself. We have around the other side here, we have an electronic water pump. This is a coolant pump from a Toyota Prius. I think it's a Prius. I think it's the cooling pump for the battery pack. It's a 12 volt PWM pump. And we have here a external regulator for the alternators. What else do we have? Around this side, everything's standard, so we've got the standard starter motor, oil filter... Oh yeah, the TAC, the speed signal pickup. There's a trigger wheel down there. It's kind of a DIY job. But that picks up the RPMs and sends the signal to the brain, which is just a bunch of spaghetti at the moment. So first thing we do is connect positive to the the battery bank. At this point you just caught the homing cycle. So what happens is based on the coolant temperature which is here the computer decides how long to run the glow plugs for. So when we press the start button it'll run the glow plugs for that predetermined amount based on how cold it is and then crank the engine when it sees the engine speed pick up stops the start, well disengages the starter. There's a cooling cycle so it actually design, is designed to heat up the engine as quickly as possible so it will only run the pump for short bursts to begin with up until about 50 degrees. When it reaches 50 it runs the pump at half speed and then as soon as it starts to approach the set temperature for the, for the coolant so uh, I think it's you know like around 80, 90. It will then run a what's called a PID loop, which is a kind of a I guess it's AI <laughs> in a way, uh, blockchain powered AI generator. There we go. Um, yeah, it basically tries to reach the, the the target temperature and not go over it. And if the temperature goes over the set limit. We have the cooling fan, get this kicked in, cools it back down. Oh yeah, so the cooling system, basically the the regulator, uh, the thermostat is bypassed, so it's just completely open in there, so it, the coolant's allowed to circulate through a very, well, as efficiently as possible. So let's fire it up.
stops cool yeah so there's a start uh, stop fuel cut off solenoid down here which operates the fuel cut off lever there there's only one alternator connected uh, powered by the way at the moment so that was just a single alternator doing the job so there we go, if you uh, want to know any more, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message down below. Thanks for watching.